Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, you know, I've been testing a lot of different types of shotgun ammo lately. Uh, I still have a few different types of ammunition that I want to experiment with. Uh, but for today, we're going to take a break from that so I can show you my improvised tensile testing machine. Uh, you know, in industry, the tensile test is one of the primary ways that we characterize the strength of a material for uh, engineering calculations. Uh, and a while back, I was thinking it'd be nice to have a tensile testing machine for my own personal use. Unfortunately, the things are ridiculously expensive. Uh, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars in most cases. So I resorted to building my own. And this is my $50 tensile testing machine. Uh, it consists of a pair of hydraulic bottle jacks with a little piece of pipe putting them in hydraulic communication and then a pressure gauge so I can see uh, how much pressure is in the system. Of course, knowing the diameter of the uh, hydraulic cylinders, I can then calculate the applied load and get the data that I need. Now, this is a typical tensile specimen. Uh, it's three-quarter inch diameter rod that's been turned down to quarter inch diameter in the middle uh, so that we'll know where it's going to break and we know the area, uh, you know, where it is going to break. The, the reason we do that is because we need to thread the ends so that we can put it in the machine and if we didn't have this area or this uh, reduced diameter region, the threads would introduce a stress concentration and would just break up there and then the area would be very difficult to characterize whereas if it's turned down like this you know it, it'll break in here somewhere now we've got a well-defined circular area and we can calculate the breaking stress pretty easily um, anyway this is actually a sample of a uh, titanium alloy that I haven't worked with much uh, hence the need to characterize its tensile strength before I invest in buying any more of it to actually use for projects. Uh, but anyway, uh, without further ado, I'm going to put this in the uh, tensile testing machine and we'll see how strong it is. So there's what's left of our tensile specimen. Classical cup and cone fracture, if you can see that there. Uh, and based on the pressure reading I was getting and the calculation based on the area of the cylinders, uh, braking strength was right around 112 KSI, or 1,000 pounds per square inch. Uh, so that'll be some useful data for if I ever decide to use this titanium alloy for anything. Anyway, thanks for watching the Idaho Home Show.